Good morning, guys. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, so for this day, I will be presenting my personal marketing plan via SWOT matrix, which will serve as our second long test for applied economics. So as you all know, uh, my name is Ralph Gabriel Esmenjola, classmate niyo ako from grade 11, Archdiocese of Haro. So to begin, we shall uh, uh, ponder on this quote from Thurgood Marshall, the first uh, African Amer American Supreme Court Justice of the United States of America, in which he stated that each of you as an individual must pick your own goals, listen to others, but do not become a blind follower. So, iiwan ko na lang po sa inyo kung paano nyo i-interpret yung quote na yan. So, for the first um, part ng aking uh, uh, presentation, we have the executive summary. So, first, we will delve into my five-year plan. So, for the first five years, so, nakikita nyo medyo mahaba. So, itatry kong isummarize to as, uh, as I can para mas madaling maintindihan. So, for the first five years, ang plan ko is to be able to successfully finish senior high school. And if I'm fortunate, hopefully, uh, makagraduate with contributing honors. Uh, try to get into a university with a great accounting program. And hopefully, a college that correlates with my ideals and interests. Uh, sana nga din, uh, nasa, na dun yung top three choices ko. Uh, Sunod is try to spend more time with family and friends. And then I would also like to take on the challenge of being a student leader by joining different extracurricular activities and organizations. Uh, hopefully to get into a good review center to prepare myself for the CPA licensure examinations, qualify for the examinations, and make time for other projects. So for the next 10 years, ang plano ko naman is, if given the chance to take a BSA, I would like to finish my bachelor's degree and hopefully continue remaining an honor student. So sunod nun is to take the CPA licensure examinations and hopefully pass. So syempre, ang sunod nun is to become a CPA or Certified Public Accountant and, uh, as, uh, and along the way hopefully achieve more work experience. Then pass the necessary uh, requirements to be able to qualify and pass for the PhilSat. So sa mga hindi nakakaalam yun, uh, yun po ay ang Philippine Law School Admission Test. Uh, although hindi naman siya required para sa mga uh, para sa mga na, uh, gustong um, maging abogado, uh, maganda rin siya para sa record niya. So, ayun. Uh, ano lang? Tawag dun. Uh, e little extra lang. And then, sunod is to enter... Sir, kaya lang para hindi Ano, sir? Hello? Tama yan, tinanggal mo muna yung video, naghang tayo kanina. Yeah, yung law school, kindly continue. Okay, so yes, uh, sunod is to enter uh, a law school with the Superb Juris Doctor Program. And then to graduate and finish my doctoral degree. And hopefully, kung, uh, ayun, kung magaling pa rin or kung pinagpala pa rin with contributing honors. Then sunod is to achieve a stable employment, whether it be in the field of accounting or law. Try to so not is uh, syempre to try to spend more time with family and friends. So importante din naman na nag enjoy tayo. And then lastly is to get married. So tingnan natin kung saan tayo dadalhin ng ano ng buhay. Huwag ka magkahanap ng ano ha, abogada. Huwag ka magkasawa ng abogada. <laughs> Sige sir, no <noted. laughs> Then, sunod is the opportunity cost of my college education. So, uh, hindi na natin masyadong pagtutunan uh, ng pansin to. So, para sa opportunity cost lang, alam naman natin na regardless of what we choose, uh, meron pa rin mga opportunities na hindi natin mapipili. So, this may uh, be in the form of location, offered facilities, values of the school, the people we will be collaborating with, and educational expertise of the chosen field. So the next is the competitive profile matrix. So uh, before this, uh, we will first, uh, I will be first presenting some pictures of my top three universities. So first is alam naman natin, UST. Second is UP Diliman. And then the third is De La Salle University or DLSU Manila. So, uh, Konting background information lang, no? Yung location, hindi na natin uh, masyadong uh, bibigyan ng pansin yun. But for the tuition fee, uh, according sa ni-research ko, 
pa-verify na lang if tama din. Baka kasi iba na research nyo. Uh, if uh, you will be taking a BSA, uh, pag sa UST is 120,000 per year. Sa UP naman, medyo budget friendly with 40 to 50,000 pesos per year. Tapos sa uh, DLSU, medyo pricing uh, of 205,000 to 225,000 per year. So in terms of academic term, sa dalawang, uh, sa UP and sa UST is uh, semestral sila. Then sa DLSU is trimestral. So my first choice of uh, courses do. Kapag UST, syempre kailangan natin i-check if offer, ina-offer nila yung course na gusto natin. So if sa UST man ako, ang first ko is syempre BSA, Bachelor of Science in Accountancy. Second is Bachelor of Arts in Economics. Then third is Bachelor of Arts in Legal Management. Kapag UP naman, uh, ang first choice ko pa rin is Bachelor of Science in Accountancy. Ang second choice ko is Bachelor of Science in Economics. So titing, kung titingnan nyo, may difference yan. Kapag sa UST, ina-offer nila is Bachelor of Arts in Economics. Kapag UP naman, Bachelor of Science in Economics. So may, dif, may distinction din yan. Uh, I think if arts more on uh, kung paano nakaka-apekto to sa tao, then pag science naman more on econometrics or uh, mathematical equations. Tapos, uh, kapag DLS yun naman ako, uh, syempre, first choice pa rin ang DSA. Uh, ang second choice naman is Bachelor of Science in Applied Economics uh, finance, in the financial field. So, medyo specific din kapag sa DLSU. Then, ang third choice, ay, third choice ko naman pala sa UP is Bachelor of Arts in Political Science. So, Kapag sa UP naman, wala silang legal management program. So kapag sa UP ka, uh, B Bachelor of Arts in Political Science ang pwedeng maging equalizer doon. Then kapag DLS naman, Bachelor of Science in Legal Management. So may legal management program din pala ang DLSU. Pero in terms of uh, sa pinagkaiba nila sa UP, ay sa UST, ganun pa rin. Bachelor of Arts kapag UST, then Bachelor of Science kapag DLS. Yeah. Hello sir, naririnig niyo, niyo pa rin ako? Medyo na putol. Sige, ano yung school na pinili mo? Saan ka, ano po yung huli niyo narinig sir? Hindi, okay lang yung third choice. Pero ano yung school na napili mo? Uh, third choice sir is DLSU. If nakikita niyo pa rin po yung presentation. Ano mo? Yes. Uh, yeah. Sa mga, uh, sa mga uh, classmates ko dyan. is known Sige po sir. Uh, sa mga classmates ko dyan, na, uh, naglalag ba ako sa inyo? Baka naglalag din ako sa inyo. Pasabi na lang if okay pa ako. Okay pa. Meron, meron. Kahit panggalin okay. mo yung video, Mr. Menjola, baka dahil doon naglalag. Uh, sige sir, wait lang po. Patanggalin ko lang ang video ko. Okay, yan. So, ayun. Baka uh, bisang effect daw ng video. Ewan ko sa kanina. <laughs> Yes, well, sir. But if you okay. will be taking up economics naman, you can also consider UANT. University yes, of well, Asia. Sir. <laughs> Nasabi na din po yan ng nanay ko. So, uh, pupunta dun po sa next part, masasabi ko din po yan. So, for the analysis and conclusion, um, nakikita dito upon examining my chosen schools and their corresponding data, I have carefully deliberated each of these and how I will be able to fit into each of their ideals and norms. Moreover, there are different reasons for each school that I have presented. So ito yung mga reasons ko for each school. Para sa UST, alam naman natin na isa siya sa big four. Then exposure and experience. Uh, it, may exposure and experience ako since uh, dito nagtapos yung big brother ko. So, most of the time uh, makiki uh, most of the time sa UST ako madalas kapag uh, gusto kong mag-explore ng mga uh, kung paano nagwo-work na yung college environment. So sa UST talaga ako uh, medyo may familiarity. So yun, sunod yun, familiarity. Yeah. Then ang sunod naman is the implementation of Catholic values with the promulgation of quality education. So kapag UST alam naman natin na siya pa rin ang top Catholic university sa Pilipinas. So since physician nga tayo, uh, if we are still aiming for quality Catholic education, magandang uh, succeeding university or succeeding educational uh, 
succeeding educational program kapag sa USD tayo nag ano na uh, piniling mag uh, aral for college yung ano yung pinili mo na lang na school which is i think De La Salle why I'm La Salle sure. yun po yung ano pang pangatlo ko sir pero if uh, kahit ano naman po sir pinili ko dito pero if may tapon ako USD pa rin syempre ah uh, sorry sorry okay next so So uh, ano po ang passing rate for the CPA board exam kapag USD is 61.83% nung 2019 pero alam ko nag-improve na din yan so ayun. So eto sir skip na po ba yung mga reasons ko for UP and DLSU or yeah. ano lang tayo konti. <clears throat> Sige po. So finally uh, para sa analysis and conclusion despite all of these reasons I'm still open to taking up opportunities from other schools such as UANP and PUP uh, as I continue my pursuit I will be making UST as my top priority but I would also consider myself fortunate if I'm able to pass on these three schools So why take up accountancy? Makikita nyo na mahaba pa rin yung reasons ko. So para sa akin na lang yan pero uh, isa summarize ko na lang for the sake of presentation. So it all began due to sa aking great interest of saving and counting money. So nung bata ako, mahilig ako magbilang ng pera. And also when I found out that both my grandparents were graduates of accountants. So medyo subjective pero naramdaman ko din na baka para sa akin nga to. And then when I was a kid, uh, I would play with the Microsoft Excel software and would input numbers when I got home after classes. Uh, the next reason is despite being hesitant at first due to the extended subjects offered in junior high school in PCC, I decided to take up the business high school or the BHS program para sa mga nag-BHS dyan, alam natin yan, which expanded my knowledge in the world of business and finance. Uh, next reason is my teachers advised me to take up this course because they all considered me as being inclined towards this field. And lastly, taking up the ABM strand. So ito, nandito na tayo, nasa ABM strand tayo lahat. Taking up the ABM strand made me realize that this is something I want to pursue. Okay. So next is vision and mission. Sir, skip na ba ba ito? Skip ano? muna, skip muna. Okay na yan. Okay. Sige po. Uh, habang so, nag-skip si Mr. Menjola, no? hopefully uh, you graduate from the ABM strand, hindi naman kayo maging ABM strand din. So situation, yes. So next part ng aking presentation is the situation in industry analysis. So dito makikita natin kung ano ba talaga yung kalagayan ng accountancy and its field sa panahon natin ngayon. So target or personal markets as a future undergrad would include. So kapag nagtapos ka ng accountancy dito, uh, binibigay ko saan ka pwedeng or posibleng magtrabaho. So pwedeng private companies such as San Miguel Corporation, Accenture and SM Investments Corporation. Pwede ding mga banko such as Metro Bank, BDO, BPI or LBP. Sa government naman, uh, BSP or sa Banko Sentral ng Pilipinas, Department of Finance, sa NEDA at sa COA. So accounting firms, SGV, alam naman natin yan, uh, nasikat na sikat ang SGV ngayon. Sa PWC Philippines is Lalipanan Corporation, sa Manabat Delgado Amper Corporation, sa KPMG RG Manabat Corporation and others. So, syempre, katulad ng binig, binanggit ko kanina, may inclination din ako sa uh, pursuing towards uh, law. So, pwede din ako, in terms of ako, pwede rin ako sa law firm such as Carpo Law and Associates, uh, Angara Abelo Conception, Regala and Cruz Law Offices, Uh, Villarasa and Anggang Law Offices and uh, etc. So kapag lawyer, kung um, if ever na gusto nyo, if ever na hindi naman sweldo ang tinitingnan natin and we want to uh, ano, makatulong para sa mga those, that, uh, para sa mga less fortunate brothers and sister natin, syempre sa public attorney's office tayo magtatrabaho. Then pwede din sa mga judicial branch of government such as the Supreme Court, the Court of Appeals, the Regional Trial Court, and the Municipal Trial Court. Yung so, po, no? puro abono office yan. Yun yung okay, sir. <laughs> okay, so, sige, continue. So market needs for a future accountant and CPA lawyer. So mahaba na naman na sinabi ko dito. Pero uh, ang tingnan nyo na lang is yung naka-emphasize or green. Then I will uh, explain na lang. So, huwag niyo na basahin yung block para sa akin na lang talaga yan. So, a graduate, syempre, kailangan, sa, kailangan naman talaga na graduate ka 
uh, para ma-certify mo yung uh, para ma-certify n- ng company or either firms or government kung saan ka magtatrabaho na credible yung gagawin mo or skilled ka talaga in the field of accountancy. So CPA licensure, of course, having a license. Oh, okay na yan, okay na yan. Okay. Ganito, no? uh, I think most of you are thinking that you have to become a, a, a licensed CPA. Of course, syempre, maganda pa rin yung license. But there are still opportunities if you did not become a licensed CPA. Like, meron kaming family friend na nung time na magbo-board exam siya na CPA, nasunog yung bahay nila. So nasunog lahat ng materials niya, wala silang naterong gamit. She decided not to pursue the accountancy. Pero ngayon, naging manager siya ng banko. So, no problem. Next. Uh, skip na po ito, sir. Lahat po ng market needs. No need na. Okay na. Nakita ko na. Sige. Sige po. Okay, so... Yung swap pa- na lang kung makano tayo. Sige po. So, moving on sa SWAT, pero bago yan, tingnan nyo na lang yung green, such as Juris Doctor Degree, Law License, and Aware of Deadlines, Analytical and Social Skills, tsaka Strong Integrity. So, for my SWAT analysis, uh, sir, uh, pipili ka po ba muna for my strengths po? Sige, pakita mo muna. So, first, mm-hmm. we have Leadership Skills, Analytical and Technical Skills, y- Yung ano, yung... Ah, okay, okay, okay. Sige, yung analytical tsaka strong work ethic na lang. Okay, sige po sir. So, analytical and technical skills, no? So, I believe I possess vast knowledge in my chosen field as justified by my narrative. So, nakita niya naman yung um, mga story ang dinadako kanina. Then, of course, taking up the business high school program in junior high school uh, made me more aware and more knowledgeable sa kung ano nga ba talaga ang nangyayari sa sa field natin or sa the field of business and even uh, the field of accountancy. So, uh, having gained experience from home life, so ayun nga, di ba, uh, na-mention ko yung mga grandparents ko na nag-take up ng accountancy nung uh, college days nila. And from my educators na nagsasabi na, ah, okay daw pala ako sa field na to. And then, syempre, lahat tayo aware dito, we are taking up the ABM strand for senior high school. And next reason is I do extensive research for subject matters that I don't know in the field. And lastly, I possess strong logical and reading skills. Uh, so yun, tingin ko naman, okay naman ako sa logic and reading skills ko. Then strong work ethic. So whenever I decide to do an action, no, uh, I make sure that I go all in towards the matter or I fully dedicate myself towards achieving success for that matter. Uh, I'm not easily tempted and absorbed by negativity, doubts, and other unconstructive criticism. The next is I don't easily give up when things aren't going my way. Uh, even when roadblocks are in my way, I always make it a habit to stay motivated. And when I focus on a matter, I make sure that my full attention is given to the situation. And lastly, I keep myself disciplined at all times. So moving on, hindi na po daw po natin uh, titingnan to. So for the weaknesses, sir, ano po yung ano? Okay, y- yung next, next, tingnan natin. Ay, nako, nakita ko na yung kapon ba yan? Okay. Next, next. Okay. Okay, not familiar sa kayo perfectionist. Okay, so uh, sa, for my weaknesses, no. Uh, so first, uh, siguro naman yung mga naging kaklasiko na alam to. So I am I, I admit that I am a perfectionist. So although sometimes viewed as not a major problem, in my case naman, I tend to examine certain details for too long to the point na I lose track of other obligations. Hence, I lose more time for everything else that matters. I also have a tendency to be satisfied only if others are satisfied with the results that I bring to them. Hence, my happiness is becoming reliant towards other people. Uh, being a perfectionist makes it hard for me to adapt uh, time management into my forte. Pag sari forte, so yun yung mga strengths natin. Medyo fancy lang na word. And then, having this trait also puts me in a constant state of worry. So kapag perfectionist ka, syempre, uh, sa mga nakakagets, lagi tayo nag-aalala sa mga bagay-bagay. And lastly, I never take time to celebrate my wins or even rest. Then, you sunod naman is not totally familiar with new technology. So, yes, I am more of a hands-on learner. 
Therefore, I recognize that my literacy for media and technology is not at a high level. Uh, I easily get overwhelmed whenever I do tasks with the use of gadgets and other objects with similar qualities. Uh, I have a current mindset that I learn better through experience and not just through information dissemination. So, syempre, dahil online class tayo, puro info lang na binibigay. Syempre, mahirap din kapag hindi mo mismo na-experience na ginagawa yung activity. And then... Uh, <laughs> so, next is, it can take some time for me to learn and explore current media platforms and popularly used applications. So, para sa mga gumagamit ng TikTok dyan o iba-iba pang applications na famous, uh, wag nyo akong tatanungin dyan. Hindi ko alam yan. <laughs> and collaborative task involving the use of technology can be very challenging at times. So, ayan. So, ayan. Hindi na natin pagtutunan yan. For opportunity, sir, ano po gusto nyo? So, ayan. Number... Sitignan ko nga. Okay. okay. Obvious na yun. Next. Okay, next. Next pa. Medyo na come. Saan ka na po, sir? Ano na po nakikita nyo? Next. Ayun, new classmates. Sige. Okay. So, uh... Saka yung being in Pasig Catholic. So, yung dalawa na yan. New classmates and being in PCC. Okay. Sige po. So, for the opportunity. So, syempre... Uh, uh, no, my first uh, opportunity that I will be presenting is new classmates and teachers. So equal non is new sets of collaboration. So since this marks the start of our senior high school journey as grade 11 students, I look forward to learning new important lessons and any other information from my new classmates. Uh, in this regard, I also hope to inspire and share what I know and hopefully be of any sort of help for the growth of my classmates. So, tulungan tayo, no? Kapag uh, natulungan kita, kapag natulungan nyo ako, hopefully, I can do the same then para sa inyo. And lastly, since I will also be experiencing new teachers, so lahat naman tayo dito, uh, in-experience yan, mga bagong sets of teachers, I hope to also impact their lives in the same way that they will impact mine. So, hopefully, uh, magawa ko yun para sa mga educators natin. And then next is being in Pasig Catholic College. So uh, I have been studying here in PCC for 13 years now. So next year, so grade 11 marks my 14th year. Uh, in line with this, I've actually grown accustomed to how the system has worked. Therefore, adjusting to a different department won't be as difficult. So ang ibig sabihin na lang to is the transition from junior high school to senior high school won't be as difficult since yun nga, uh, matagal na ako sa PCC. And if may questions din naman kayo regarding how the system works, uh, pwede nyo akong approach. And then, PCC has been known for assisting its students to different college opportunities. Hopefully, I can make a great impression. So, uh, nakwento sa akin ni Sir Gida one time, no? na kapag face-to-face uh, -face tayo, meron ta para sa mga ABM, meron tayo mga competitions uh, pertaining to journalizing or any accounting topic. So, ayun, sayang lang. Online tayo, kaya hindi tayo nakapag-participate doon. So, kapag naka-participate man tayo doon, pupunta tayo sa Tagaytay or sa UP or sa iba't ibang university. So, ayun, yun lang. Nasayang lang talaga. So, lastly, uh, being in a school that promotes quality Catholic education will hone my knowledge in the practice of Catholic values which I can bring and instill for college. So, yun nga, since PCC is a school that promotes quality Catholic education, hopefully, kung yung mga values na matututunan ko is madala ko rin para sa college. And then, for threats, sir, ano po gusto niyo sa threats? Okay, on yung online tapos Sige, yung ano, yung pangalawa. Sige, 1 and 2 na lang. 1 and 2 po. Okay. Ah sige po. So, for my first threat is online distance learning. So, due to the new paradigm that we are all experiencing to continue education, we all have to adjust to its implications by mixing our school life with our home life. Uh so, yun, na-experience nga natin na mahirap mag-adjust dahil dinadala natin yung buhay natin sa school, sa buhay natin sa bahay. And since, uh, alam naman natin na nahirapan talaga tayo sa pag-start, no, since naka-summer mode pa tayo nung 
na and nabigla din tayo in the upon the announcement of having online classes so this also entails having limited communication with teachers so alam naman natin yan meron tayong asynchronous and synchronous classes so nakakausap lang talaga natin yung mga teachers natin during synchronous o minsan pa nga hindi na natin sila nakakausap and therefore dissemination of information is really difficult so number three so number three for the uh the online distance learning threat is uh, we are all reliant on our internet connection so hindi na hindi na natin madedenay yan no yung attendance talaga natin is reliant sa internet connection paano na lang yung mga babagal yung internet connection paano yung mga uh, walang masyadong resources so yun ang medyo ano lang medyo sad lang na napag-iiwanan natin sila uh, there's also a call to enhance our technological para, para, skills para tayo adjust sa online distance learning no kung Lalo na ako, no? as you all know, so, uh, so later on, the will become an So, the threats. So, no? ayan. Hello, sir. Narinig niyo pa rin ako? Yes, yes. So ayon, uh, next is only those who are privileged can benefit to this setup. So yun explain ko naman na yun. And collaborative tasks are difficult to implement. So ang hirap din talaga ng groupings, no? Lalo na kung first time mo lang makikilala yung mga klase mo. So yun, ang hirap din talaga makipag-communicate, lalo na sa setup na ito. So the next is the new system of PCC for SHS. So Sinabi kong new system kasi nakalimutan ko na I don't know if it's called semestral bar quartet system. So, pa-verify pa na lang kay Sir Ichon kung anong tawag doon. So, as grade 11 students, we are not really familiar with how the system works for with senior high school. There are different variations and changes towards our subject. So, nung junior high tayo, sanay tayo na 10 subjects lang mula first to fourth quarter. Pero ngayon, iba-iba na tayo ng subject kada, let's say, Kada two months, nag-iiba tayo ng mga subjects na pinag-aaralan. And uh, next is, there is no consistency between the clarification of schedule. So, minsan pa nga, hindi tayo nasesenda ng schedule kung kailan yung examinations or kung ano yung mga bago nating sets of teachers and classes. Next is, students are not recognized or commended enough for their efforts. So, para sa akin, medyo nalilimit lang talaga no, na hindi tayo na ko comment for our uh, for the efforts that we have made upon adjusting to this setup and lastly having a time limit for deliberation period is a disadvantage for people with slow internet connection hindi <coughs> naman ako siguro yung teacher na nag not recognized na hindi <laughs> 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 naman po sir ako ay nagblably na item ka okay so i think sir, that's sir, good pa kita mo ulit yung yung swap matrix na lang ah oh you have the toast Okay, I yes, want to sir, see the Yes, sir. Ano pong gusto niya? Uh, how it works? Wala, wag na yun. So, S-O po, W-O-S-T, or W-T po. Uh, it's up to you. Anong gusto mong i-discuss na isang strategy lang? Isa lang po, sir? Yes, it's up to you. So, uh, I think ang gusto ko pong pagtuuna ng pansin is... Uh, siguro po, sir, yung uh, strength to opportunities analysis na lang po. Okay. So in regards to the correlation of my strengths and the different opportunities that I have gathered, uh, I will be available to maximize opportunities by first using my leadership skills to help guide my classmates and newcomers who are unfamiliar with how the system in PCC works. So once again nga, nasabi ko, huwag kayong mahihiya na approach ako. Uh, 13 years na ako dito sa PCC. If may tanong kayo regarding sa sistema, uh, you can approach me lang. And then second is using my technical and analytical skills to assist me in answering ABM specialized questions and topics for discussions. So, hindi ko talaga may okay, tatong so ito. Hello, sir. Work. Okay na, okay na. So, as you can see, no, inuna ni Mr. Menjola yung leadership. So, meron ako mga napanood ng mga video saying na hindi mo pa kailangan yung leadership skills when you enter college or when you enter the workplace. So, syempre, understandable naman. But, unti-unti, you must develop it. So, correct naman for me yung SO analysis niya. Improve the, like, the leadership skills which he is currently manifesting. Leadership by example. 
So during the MBA program in Ateneo Graduate School of Business, the motto of the 60th anniversary is leading by serving and serving by leading. So I hope you understand how that words came to be. So I, I want you to have that kind of leadership skills. So excellent report, Mr. Menjola. Give well, a warm uh, hand about yeah. Thank you for listening, guys. So that concludes my presentation. Ah, uh, okay. So pangalawa daw si Mr. Manuel. Oh, nag uh, fresh na fresh ang info sa akin. Yes, Mr. Manuel, you may upload your slides. <coughs> Wag mo kalimutan yung tip ko. Ah, okay, mag-asawa ng abogado o abogada. <laughs> Kundi araw-araw para kay nasa korte, no? Sir, naka-show na po. Yes. Wow, ganda ng slides. Or slide. So habang nagaan si Mr. Manuel, why I name it a marketing plan, you cannot make a marketing plan if you do not know the economics of a business. Huh? So please proceed. <laughs> okay po. Good morning everyone. I, I will be the presenter for today. So ngayon, makikita nyo po dito yung personal marketing plan ko. Next slide. Yan po inspirational quote ko. The best okay. revenge is massive. The best revenge is massive success. Kaya ko po yung napili kasi it could be a good thing and a bad thing. So kayo na rin po bahala kung paano po ni-interpret. So iba lang yung ginamit niyang quote, no? I use dati nung kaitad ko kayo. The best revenge is to live well. So yung kanya mas advanced pa ng isang level. Next. For my first five years, yan po gagawin ko. Graduate in senior high school here in Pasig Catholic College and apply to the universities. Be a working student to save money for future investments. Finally, graduate college and focus on stock trading. To the next 10 years po, use the money that I save and start investing on stocks. Learn the family business. Kasi po yung family po kasi namin, nagbebent, marami po kasi kaming business. Isa na po yun, yung nagbebenta po kami ng mga machine parts dun sa iba't ibang bansa, like Singapore, Jap Japan, gan po. I will Back help my family. Man, ha? Baka naman may vacancy dyan, tagatibla ng kape. Ay, sir, yung one notable na, na pwede po namin, ano, na, na, na contribute po namin dito is kami po yung nagpa-provide po ng machines po sa, sa paggawa ng spaghetti ng Jollibee. I will help my family to their business while investing stocks. Tapos yung pinaka last, become a successful stock investor. So yan po yung top three universities ko. School 1, La Salle, La Salle University, Manila. School 2, University of Santo Tomas or UST. School 3, Ateneo de Manila University. Kaya ko po pipiliin yung La Salle kasi just like in the slide, back in grade 7, I always strategize on how do I spend my money wisely and I am a really high risk taker po. Tapos one time po, I, I came across a video na tungkol po dun sa stock market and sobrang na-fascinate po ako to the point na nun pa lang po gusto ko po mag-invest pero hindi po talaga marunong. Kaya, kaya ko rin po pinili yung Lasal kasi marami pong nag-graduate po doon na, na sobrang successful na po ngayon. And, and kaya ko rin po pinili kasi sobrang magiging beneficial po yun. Kasi kami po, kapag doon po, lalo na sa transportation, yun po yung sobrang makaka-benefit po sa aming tatlo ng mga ate ko. Situation or industry analysis. Target personal markets as a feature undergird include government agencies like DBM, DOH, and DOLE. Big agencies like UAAGI, TIM, and PLDT. International agencies like ADB, ABM, SA, and LBC. Market needs a future budget analyst. Must have a college degree. Yung slide mo, nandun pa rin sa Y de la Sal? Huh? Hindi po, sir. Ito na po siya. 
Ayun, late lang yung sa akin. Matanda na ako. Eh. Sorry. Okay. Kailan lumitaw? Okay, market needs. Okay. The primary goal of one's company is to hire a responsible budget analyst to determine the optimal allocation of, of project funds. The budget analyst must have the technical and analytical skills to budget the company money wisely. The budget analyst must budget the money and he or she must satisfy the personal the person or company's needs. SWOT, yan, SWOT analysis na po tayo. So yan po yung mga strengths ko. Creativity, so social skills and hardworking. Kaya ako po nakasabi na creativity po ako. Kasi kahit hindi po matalino, <coughs> nakakagawa po ng diskarte kung paano po mapadali yung buhay ko or kung paano mapadali kung paano mapadali yung isang task na in-assign sa akin. Uh, Mr. Manet, please don't say hindi ka matalino. No? Lahat tayo matalino. Kanya-kanya lang tayo siguro ng intelligence. So please uh, don't say that. Hindi po, hindi po ganun ka, brainy. <laughs> <laughs> Intellectual. Yeah. Apo, yun. Okay. And ahead, I can sorry. say that meron na na Ma magaling din po sa social skills. And I can say na magaling din po ako sa pag sa to make friends kasi I can easily um make friends and adapt to the situation po. Hard and I can say that I'm hard working din po kasi kung gusto ko po yung isang bagay na ginagawa ko, gagawin ko po talaga in a short period of time. Adaptability. Kaya ko po nasabi na adaptability ako kasi kasi every year meron po tayong ano um, nagbabago po yung klase na nagbabago po yung klase and nagbabago rin po yung mga classmates. Una po ginagawa ko inobserve ko muna po yung mga klase ko and and pagkatas ko po i-observe tinatry ko po sila lapitan and tinitignan ko po yung mga ano personal preferences po nila. And I can say, I'm a quick learner kasi Sorry. Um... Dalawa lang ah, nakailan ka lang. Pa? Ah, dalawa lang. Sorry. Uh, uh, so, weakness yung Weakness first two. First two. Opportunities sa katres, last two naman yung opportunities and threats. Okay po. This weakness po, disorganized. I'm very disorganized in so many ways. I always forget where I put a specific item and I always ended up looking for it for hours. No, no time management. I can say that I have no time management because I tend to prioritize less important things rather than my studies. And I always end up cramming and passing the word rushed. Opportunities. The stock market continues to grow. The stock market continues to grow and grow because a lot of investors tend to go to the stock traders to invest their monies. Flexibility of working hours. Being a stock trader can be flexible because you, yourself, can have the power to manage your time if you are going to work or not. Threats. Distractions. There are many external distractions like noise that I cannot control that my neighbors produce or the notifications that pop up on my devices. Lack of financial aid. I have two sisters going to college right now and I'm go and I'm and next year I'm going to be an upcoming freshman which makes the expense higher. Sorry lang po. Thank you for listening. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> siguro yung so weakness na banggit ni Mr. Manuel yung disorganized so if you will do stock trading you must be organized no? kasi baka mamaya may makalimutan kang nag-invest ka ng stocks bumabagsak na pala yung price no? nalulugi ka na pero lahat naman ng weakness you can further improve so again great presentation amazing insights I get to know you better Next, so sino ba yung next natin? <clears throat> so next muna natin, temporary. Sino ba yung nag-chat sa akin? Nakalimutan ko. It's either Bunda or Bukat, no? So yung Amazing Twins, then Bilyarba, then Anapo. 
So kindly upload your slide na. Kung sino yung next. Hindi ko maalala kung bukat or bundan. Nalilito ako. Sorry. Ayun, bukat. Yes. Kit naman ng mga, ano nga? Ay, hindi naman yung mga layoff na yan. <clears throat> um, so, good morning, everyone. Hindi pa naman 12. Um, good morning, everyone. Um, this is my personal marketing plan. So, the contents are executive summary, opportunity cost of my college education, competitive profile matrix, Next. conclusion. Next. Executive summary na. <clears throat> We have time constraint. Yeah, yung yeah, inspirational. Nice. Um, inspirational quote. Um, the inspirational quote, why you chose that? The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Um, for me po kasi, kapag ka nagbibuild ka ng sarili mong future, sometimes po kasi pag, um, let's say sa akin po, may Ah, uh, may mga tao na nagda-doubt po sa sarili nilang future na paano kapag ganito, paano kapag ganyan, hindi ako naging successful ganyan. As long na as long you believe in yourself as well dun sa mga ano, sa mga mga challenge na haharapin mo. Ga magagawa mo yung future mo as kung ano yung ano, kung ano yung kung paano mo siya na picture. Yun po. Okay. Then, my executive summary. My first five years is to finish my bachelor degree in business, start saving some finances, tsaka acquired skills as well achievements, enhance my ability and obtain experience. For the next 10 years, um, work for two to three years to gain experiences in field of business and additionally learn to my com camaraderie. Take an MBA, Master of Business Administration degree, as well study in Paris, um, in non-culinary school, traveling, build my own business as well, own a properties and cars. I don't plan having a, uh, <coughs> I don't plan to be married. So gusto, <laughs> gusto mo rin pala maging ano, ha, Master of Balang Araw, ha, Miss Bukat. <laughs> uh, my advice will be try to enter AIM. Asian Institute of Management. Or better yet, kung nasa overseas ka, then enroll to those uh, programs in other countries. Then, my opportunity cost of my college is CST, PUP, UP, at saka Mapua. Mapua. Um, so, what did you choose? Um, I choose I ano ko po po ba yung competitive profile matrix? Hindi na. Ano na I choose you. Sino ba? Which one? Um, I, I choose USD. Oh, oh. USD. Yes. Kasi ano, um, they are also known as outstanding in field of business. And one of my dream is to enter known university. Tsaka gusto po ng mami ko na mag-enter sa Catholic, Catholic na school in college. Hmm. Yung kaya po BSBA yung kinuha ko, uh, business ad, kasi po other than its four-year course, I also get chance to study again for two years in culinary before I reach my age of 30. Okay. May question ako, Miss Bukas. Bakit gusto yes. ni Mami? Bakit hindi gusto mo? Po? Um, gusto oh. mo din po. Pero kasi po, um, relihiyon po kasi yung parents ko, lalo po yung mami ko. Uh, strict si mami na po. Okay. Sige. Yung mission and vision po ba, isasama pa. Next. At, Sige, next slide. Okay, okay. Next na yan. Nakita ka na. Next. Market needs, okay. Interpersonal, strategic, critical thinker, and marketing. So, gets ko na next. Okay, sa so strengths, ilan yung strengths mo, Miss Bukat? Lima po. Okay, yan, yung dalawa na yan. Accept criticism and companionship. 
Um, accept criticism. Um, if there is someone try to correct me or even share their um, kahit yung ano yung knowledge nila about dun sa ginagawa ko, I think that is another knowledge discoveries. Kasi at saka, I often ask for criticism because it doesn't mean that I am capable of doing something. Something I am excellent in everything. I still need some advices, even it if it's good or bad. As well, my mom told me that doesn't mean someone correct you means you're not good enough. You will never grow if you stick on your pride and never accept wrongs. Tapos sa companionship ko, um, I have many treasury friends. I easily, um, uh, mabilis pa ako magkaano, um, uh, maki ano ng mga kaibigan. <laughs> even though I'm having a oh. Hindi ba treasured friends? Kasi kung treasury friends, mga mga nasa treasury department yun. No, I mean, I have many treasury friends. I mean, yung mga tinatreasure ko pong kaibigan. <laughs> Next ko na. Sige. Sa wing naman. Kahit yung first two na lang, weakness. Um, sociability. I've mentioned earlier that I have a poor communication skills. Interaction is one of my most tape. Being a sheltered child, I rarely engage in any conversation only if the subject is math. Um, lack of confidence. Many of us have these kinds of weakness. I am not confident in myself. And always bothered by my favorite what ifs. That's why this hinder me in some opportunities because I'm too afraid to get out of my shell. Ano nangyari? Sa opportunity na po. Sige, yung 4 and 5 na lang. Okay, no problem. Um, the campus in other school the spaces are only limited and small. However, in university, nali yung mga known school po. Um, provided po sa kanila yung mga malalaking spaces. Kasi um, for sports or something activities na kailangan pong i-held inside the campus. As well, yung gala time. <laughs> um, this is a good opportunity for those students who have a strict parents like me. Some of the college school are very far and near in malls. As well, it's your chance to take your leisure time in mall after the exhausted battling. Yung threats. Masarap kumala sa baha na pag sa USD. <laughs> Okay. Okay, threats. No? Pinapagahan ko lang yung kalooban nyo. No? <laughs> Do ma ma magaan naman si, si UST. Pag bumaha, misan din na nagpapapasok. No? Pero pag sa mapuha yan, kahit mag magugunaw na yung mundo, tuloy pa rin ang pasok. Threats, please. Um, sir, which one po? Ah, uh, yung rival schools sa unavailable course na lang. Po, uh, ano, ano po kayo? Naglalag po. One and five na lang, one and five. Um, rival schools. Um, so far po, UST is getting much achievements than its rival. However, the battle between UST and the LSEU in basketball has been in volleyball is not settled yet. Um, so far po, um, sa cheerleading, nakakasama din po sila in top ten. At saka sa mga other activities outside school, lalo pagka may battle between schools, yung mga sikat na school po. Uh, madalas po sila nagtalo. 
yung number five po an available an available courses um one of the problems of every student is that their choose chosen courses is unavailable in the university they entered hindi po kasi lahat uh, lahat ng courses is some school po hindi po lahat ng courses na kinuha mo is nandun po sa si school na papasukan mo kaya yun din po yung problema ng mga student na papasok papasok sa mga universities po yes so not all are offered by the school so the pro the struggle is sino mag-adjust is it the student or the so probably ngayon ni student muna ay mag-adjust but later baka gumawa ng same course okay that's an excellent report no presentation uh, and then kindly give this book a warm round of applause lumili to ba yung ha yung clapping uh, Ay, nako. Ah? Muna ako, no? Please upload your slides. Upload na yung slides. Ispunda? Sir, wait lang po. Nagloload po. Hindi ko pa nakikita yung slides. Wait lang po, sir. So, habang nag-upload si Miss Bunda ng slides, I hope you like the pictures. Yung dalawang hindi nag-upload ng picture, wala akong makuha, wala akong may stock, kindly send na lang no? si Maglantay at saka si Master Nocom. Wala pa. Ayan, nagkaan na siya. So, as you notice, no, yung mga schools nyo, kindly observe their uh, core values. Kung medyo nahirapan talaga kayo pumili. That can be a guide as to which school you want to enter. For example, De La Salle University has Relegio, Morris, Morris, Morals, and Cultura. And then sa Ateneo de Manila, they have the looks in domino or light of the Lord. So ano ba yung mga values na pinoporsu nila? So kahapon, may nag-present, sabi niya, idol daw niya si Biko. So Mayor Biko uses the uh, core values of the school that he studied, which is D. RNA yun, no? Oh, but thank you again. <laughs> okay. So, his leadership style is manifest, manifest the Ateneo core values. Hindi ako yung torture na Ateneo, no? So, one of this is matches. 
Okay na ba, Miss Bunda? Sir, wait lang po, medyo lag po. Naglalag? Ayan, okay. Ayan. Sige, balik mo lang. No, one of them is Magis, which means more. The other is, magpapresent na si Miss Bunda. Okay. Good morning. You may start. And I will present today my personal smart matrix. Yan, okay na yan. Sige, pipili na ako. Wait lang, ha? Uh, wait, balik mo lang muna doon. Balik mo muna doon sa SWOT lang. Para makapili na tayo. Strengths now is math skills. Tapos, agad sa PT. So for the strengths, Ms. Bull, it's math skills and adaptability. It's a weakness naman, lack of communication, and yung favorite ko, yung procrastination. Tapos, opportunities, demand for accountants. Tapos, modern technology. And threats, overload of school works, and lack of financial aid. Why do you say so? Okay. Okay. Sir, pati po yung school ko, right? Yung school, meron ka ba nilagay na school? Apo. So, eto na po. Okay na yung mga market skills na yan. Mag-skip lang kayo konti. Yung school na lang. So, sa competitive profile matrix, ang school po na una ko po pinili ay University of Philippines, Diliman. And second is Pamantas ng Nusod ang Pasig. And third po is University of Santa Tomas. So, the University of the Philippines and BSP. Back then, I always dreamed of having my own business, but as I grew older, I finally decided to pursue accountancy. This is due to my huge interest in mathematics and financing. University of the Philippines was ranked up as the top one school in our country that has the most bold passes. Nung una po talaga, gusto ko po po mag-USP, kaso medyo mahal din po yung tuition fee, so naghanap po ako na mas affordable. Kaso po, ang gusto po ng mommy at daddy ko is PNP dahil malapit po siya sa PCC and sa bahay po namin. Kaso hindi po masyadong kilala na board passer po yung uh, nag-aaral po ito. So, additional, my close relatives graduated here in UP because of its good quality education and affordable tuition. However, it is a bit far from my hometown and I needed to make huge adjustments for my new environment. Situation and industry advice. Target personal markets as a future undergrad include government agencies such as Department of Budget and Management, Commission on Audit, and Department of Finance. Okay, then. Next. Sorry, uh, I have to cut off. You sort na lang. Strengths is. First, mathematical skills. Since I was a kid, I really do have an interest in mathematics, and luckily, I also excel in that subject. I like solving and analyzing problems, and I would rather do math than make an artwork or drawing. As soon as I grew older, I realized why not apply my own in my own interest into an actual profession. So wait, lang po naghang. I'm glad to find out that accountancy is aligned with this subject. So next is adaptability. Based on my experiences, I don't have a hard time to adjust to a new environment or situation. I am an observant person, so as time goes by, I can adapt to new changes, even if it is a little bit difficult to do so. 
I know that I could use this particular strength when I enter college and when I work in the future. So for the weaknesses is first lack of communication skills. During my younger years, I I am always afraid to speak up in front of the class. I was known to be that one quiet kid who really socializes with other people, unless they are my close friends. But now I realize that I should at least try to improve my communication skills and self-esteem because it would help me in the long run. And next is procrastination. I tend to I tend to procrastinate a lot of time when I do not have enough energy to do something. There would be a couple of hours or even a day wherein I haven't done any of my assignment, assigned tasks, but at the end, I will still force myself to get up to start my daily task. So for, for the opportunity, opportunities, um, demand for accountants. As we all know, every company needs an accountant. Even small businesses hire someone to audit and record financial statements and also tax preparations. As a future accountant, it is easier to find jobs Where is your opportunity number two? I think modern technology na banggit ko kanina. Ispunda. Ispunda. Nawala ba siya or ano? Ako yun nawala. Miss Bunda, are you there? Ano nangyari kay Miss Bunda? No, wala. Sir, madalas po ganyan po connection niya. Bunda. Sir, na wala po siya. Uh, Akala ko yun, ako yun na wala. <clears throat> okay. So, pakisabi na lang, I saw, you, I saw her report na. So, I, excellent, great. So, next, hindi tayo pwede magana eh. Next, Miss Villarba, kindly upload your slide. Sir, nakikita na po. Yes, pero wala ko nakikita ang pusa. Yes. <laughs> Clear po yung audio ko. Ah, yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay, start na po ako. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everyone. I am Rosin Villarba, and today I will present to you my personal SWOT matrix. So first of all, my favorite inspirational quote is never let your fear decide your future, because I believe that more risk means more opportunities. Executive summary. So for the first five years, my goals are to pass the exams and interviews of my preferred school, finish and excel in my college course, which is BSA, Continue my OJTs and summary jobs to acquire more skills, knowledge, and experience, and has enhanced my communication skills. And for the next 15 years, my goals are to pass the board exam, get hired preferably in an auditing company, excel in my work and gain more experiences, get an MBA, build or buy my own house, build my own family, and invest in stocks. So my preferred schools and courses. First is University of Santo Tomas. Sir, sabihin ko na lang po kung bakit, bakit UST. Uh, yung pinili mo na lang. So, siya ba yung pinili mo? Pakita mo muna yung school. Sige, San Beda, UST, and the last one. Last choice po is La Salle. Okay, which did you choose? Oh, UST. Okay. So, in conclusion po, among the three schools, my first choice would always be UST. I have considered the pros and cons of this of the three schools and by the end of it I chose USD since I believe that it is the school that fits not only my course but also my culture and religion. I also believe that USD would be a big help in passing the CPA licensure exams since they are one of the schools that produces a high number of passers. Okay. 
So, so magkakaroon ng PCC reunion sa UST, no? So, uh, next. Sige, next, next. Why UST and why BSA? So, I grew up po always hearing the question, accounting rin ba ang kukunin mo from my family? Pero never naman po nila akong pinresure na kunin to. They would just say na, sige, itry mo kapag nagustuhan mo, edi okay. And when it comes to accounting schools din po kasi, the most known are UST and PUP. And just like nga po nung minention nila Menjola kanina, as someone who grew up studying in a Catholic schools, UST is the best school that would fit my religion and culture. Sana all. <laughs> So situation okay. and Next. situation analysis po uncertainty uncertainties due to the pandemic since alam nga po na di natin alam kung hanggang kailan tatagal yung pandemic and marami po tayong worries kung paano ba magpapatuloy yung school and kung hanggang kailan po tayong mag-online class and isa rin po dun sa worries ko is yung proposed amendment with the CPA licensure exam so, target or personal market as a future undergrad include auditing and accounting firms such as SGV and Co. EY, though from what I know po, EY and SGV Co. Ang alam ko po nag-merge na sila. And lastly, of course, Villarba Accounting and Auditing Office. And market... Well, maganda pa rin pumasok sa outside muna, Ms. Villarba. And then, kung ano may yung natutunan mo, let's say, kay SGV or PwC, you may incorporate it in your... Uh, family business. Yes po, sir. Actually, gusto po kasi nilang ako daw po yung parang magmana. Kaso, personally, ayoko po. <laughs> Naman, sayang yung business. Okay, so, next. Ma market needs for a future CPA, of course, graduate of BSA, licensed practitioner, analytical and problem-solving skills, and lastly, excellent written and oral communication skills. Since, isa nga po sa mga duty ng accountant is mag-interpret ng data or ng mga financial statements. So, importante po na may skills sila when it comes to written and oral. Yes. Absolutely correct. Pili na po kayo, sir. Okay. Para kung ano, para pipili mo na yung pusa, no? Strengths. Uh, sige nga, uh, S4 and S5. Weakness. Uh, W2 and W5. Opportunities uh, O4 and O5 and threats T2 and ako may binaririn ganito mga away to T5 no? T2 and T5 Okay, start po ako sa strength which is yung fourth strength ko which is perseverance so after years of studying po, I can say that I, that I always persevere when it comes to my studies. Parang different obstacles and difficulties have challenged me, but quitting has never been an option for me. I'm the type of person who knows how to rest but never to quit. So fifth strength is grades and awards. So I want to consider my grades and awards a strength since I've worked very hard for it. These high grades and awards are proofs of how persevere and disciplined I am. Not just as a student, but also as a person. So when it comes to weakness... Speaking of I, grades and awards, nakita niyo na ba yung grades niyo sa, no, sa Pinakel? Hindi pa po, sir. Oh, mataas naman yung grade niyo. Okay. Talaga? Okay. <laughs> So, my second weakness is patience. So, even though I always persevere, my patience is very short. I easily get irritated when things don't go the way it is supposed to. This weakness po can be a hindrance in having good relationships with people. So, my fifth weakness is adapting to new environment. Actually, related po to dun sa isa ko pang weakness, which is yung pagiging introvert, na hindi po ako ganun ka-open na tao. So, Medyo hindi po ako magaling makisama when it comes to strangers or mga taong kakakilala ko pa lang. Just like po back then when I was in grade 9 na transfer pa lang ako sa PCC, medyo nahirapan po ako na like makibilong sa kanila. And I find it very difficult to adjust to new environments, people, and even culture. And kasi this type of weakness po can be a hindrance to making myself resilient and flexible. So opportunities... Fourth opportunity is works abroad. So accountants are not just in demand dito sa atin sa Pilipinas but also abroad. So marami rin pong opportunities and options doon. 
just like po nung isa naming family member, nasa Canada siya. So, dito, CPA siya, and doon, nagtatrabaho siya ngayon. Doon, ang alam ko po, may kailangan kang itake na exam to be able to work there. Pero, if you compare po yung kinikita niya doon sa kin- kinikita niya dito, mas malaki po talaga yung sa Canada. And, fifth opportunity is connection. So, since my family members are part of the corporate world, it is easier for me to have connections that will be beneficial for me in the future. Kunwari na lang po kapag kailangan ng work, so madali po akong makakahanap ng tao na mapagkukunan ng trabaho. So when it comes to threats, yun nga po yung second threat is yung proposed amendment to the Accountancy Act of 2004. The proposed amendments po kasi talaga, marami po yung nagulat and I consider this as a threat because it has a big impact on how our career will go. So yung dun po kasi sa amendments, pinopropose po nila na before makapag-take ng CPA exam, kailangan may two years of work experience ka muna and yung passing rate po kasi nila, tinaas nila from 65% to 75%. So medyo mahirap po siya ng abutin, lalo na po CPA yung licensure exam po ng CPA, yung isa po sa mga may pinakakunti yung pumapasa. And lastly, freeloader groupmates. So, I consider them as a threat because uncooperative groupmates have big impacts on my grades and life as a student. Since na-mention ko nga po, na-mention ko nga po earlier na. So, yung sa freeloader, okay na yan. Okay na yan, Ms. Villarba. So, Okay naman yung, ano, wala na akong comment sa preloader groupmates. Pero yung sa accountancy act, in some professions such as architecture, required talaga to have a two-year experience. No? So, people might consider it as a bad thing, pero meron naman iba na okay sa kanila na may experience. So, good luck on your future endeavors. No? Next, sino ba yung next? Mr. Anabo. Uh, siguro nakita na ni Mr. Anabo yung picture niya kagabi doon sa ano, last picture. Sir, question po, yeah. ba't yun po yung pinili nyo? Ang dami ko pong maayos na picture. <laughs> ba't yun pa po pinili nyo, sir? <laughs> ba't yun pa po? <laughs> Ay, Pero anyway nga po. <laughs> Ah, uh, kita naman okay, po ba yung sige, search? Nakatulog ah. Oh. Sige, sige, gagawin Dali natin ba? ng paraan. Yung, dalaw- yung dalawang kulang ha, yun ang assignment mo, Mr. Anabo. Kulitin mo yung picture. Kung hindi, hindi ko papalitan yun. No? Okay. Ay, na. Kita naman po ba yung search screen, sir? Ah, uh, oh, bakit nandun ako sa shared screen? Pakitanggal ako, nakakonsious ako. <laughs> Hindi ka lang alam po kapag in-next ko, baka mawala po ako sa team set. Eh. Kaya on top on na lang po kayo. Ay, hindi po, sir. <laughs> okay, pero let's start. Hit <laughs> naman, sir. <laughs> okay, so good afternoon, everyone. Yes, good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Julian Rafael Aranabo, here to present my personal SWOT analysis. So, to start off, uh, here is an inspirational quote, well, technically, hindi naman siya quote, but rather a poem made by Alexander Bentley, one of the top seven poets in Facebook and an internationally acclaimed poet. Remember you're still here through each changing season, and isn't it beautiful how the, shine, how the sun shines for you? Uh, pinili ko po siya kasi... During this quarantine po, uh, uh, I am currently having a lot of negative thoughts po, especially regarding my future, lalo na wala po ako sa strand na gusto ko po in regards to my dreams and uh, hopes and dreams po. And uh, when reading this poem po, uh, I started reminding myself na it's time to look up. Po. You will not, You will not get anywhere when you're looking only at your feet. It will only weigh you down. And that uh, there are a lot of beautiful things in life po na kailangan natin tandaan. Hindi lang uh, yung mga bad experiences na meron tayo ngayon, yung consistent, yung consisting of life po. There are always uh, much better and much more beautiful things to look forward to. Uh, moving on. 
So, five-year plan. Siyempre, makapagtapos ng high school and makapasok sa college and study accounting while also studying for performing arts po. Upload my first few original songs and covers and also acquire four singing lessons. Uh, quick disclaimer lang po. Napapansin nyo rin na more on performing arts and arts in general lang po talaga ako kasi yun po talaga yung gusto ko ever since uh, grade 7 po. Wala po talaga masyadong interest sa business. Uh, pinili ko lang po to kasi pinagpili ako ni mama na i-sideline ko na lang muna yung pagiging actor since alam niyo naman po mahirap ang industry po in the entertainment industry. So yes. Uh, for the 15 year plan, of course, makapagtapos ng college. Uh, iti... uh, okay. Sige. Uh, what po, sir? Sorry Sige, po, Choppy po. Mr. Nabo. Mr. Nabo. Come uh, again po, sir. Choppy po talaga. Uh, so, Nag-choppy po kayo, sir. I have to ask me to is a... Uh, uh, hello, sir. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, for 15 year sige plan. Lang, lang, Mr. Anabo. Okay. Okay, so moving on po. Uh, for my top three institutions na gusto kong mapasukan sa college, first option na gusto ko rin talaga po is University of the Philippines. Second, Mapua Institute of Technology. And lastly, Ateneo de Manila. And for my courses po, first choice po talaga is performing arts, music, and film. So, why UP Diliman? Pinili ko yung UP Diliman kasi not only yun yung isa sa mga pinakakilala, one of the most prestigious school in the Philippines, and that uh, Doon rin nag-aaral nanay ko, so syempre, gugustuhin niya na ako yung susunod na magsuot ng ceremonial sash kapag graduation. But also because, isa rin yun sa mga naging suggestions ng aking mga kaibigan sa theater world na doon rin mag-aaral for performing arts. So, why performing arts? Bakit ka pa nag-business kung performing arts yung habol mo? Well, since... Ever since stepping on the stage for the first few times, na-enjoy ko talaga yung feeling ng pag-acting and hearing yung applause ng mga audience kapag tapos na yung aming palabas. And uh, with my self-proclaimed goal in life is to help people, I believe that through acting, I can help uh, much more people to inspire them and help them relax uh, in their time of uh, in their time of problems and uh, whatnot. Moving on, for the situation in industry analysis, again, this will be mostly on the entertainment industry. My target or personal markets are, as under includes uh, media companies such as ABS-CBN and GMA and etc. And also, create my own YouTube channel po to, to post my songs and uh, what everything that comes to mind. Uh, market needs for a future actor. Uh, hindi mo naman kailangan na magkaroon ng bachelor's degree in performing arts uh, para lang maging actor. Actually, pang step up lang yun. Pagkakaroon lang ng advantage yun. So, experience. The more experience you are in the field, the better the chances of being taken in auditions. Ngayon, like what I said earlier, kaya ako kinuha yung performing arts para lang magkaroon ako ng advantage out of the thousand of competitors. Next is flexible. An actor should be flexible to fit any role to suit a director's needs. And lastly, optimistic and diligent. The industry is full of competition and there are others always better than you. So stay positive and keep trying. Yes. Yung SWOT? So, so for the SWOT, uh, 
Yan, may pala 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 picture ni Mr. Napo. Yes, so at uh, <laughs> S1 and S2. Sige, I'll, I'll accept that S1 and S2. Okay. So for my S1 is the INFP personality. So of course, alam naman natin na theoretical lang naman yung Myers-Briggs personality test. But I chose this as a strength because uh, I can really relate to the definition of IN INFP personalities now. So being an INFP person, it means that you are a an idealistic and very empathetic person. You are you have a calling to help anyone in need in any way that you can. And also, despite having an angry look kapag naka-on cam ko, ma mabait po talaga akong tao. Napaka matunong. Hey, ano ako mukha ko laging galit. Pero <laughs> 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 naman po talaga kayo. No problem naman sa pictures. Discipline. So, so disciplined. Uh, there is a time for everything. Mentality has been soldered into my brain while uh, while in my years in uh, PCC Center for Culture and the Arts, which is a theater group for PCC. And uh, I tend to mix jokes and serious talks while discussing with my groupmates. Para mas maging masaya naman yung usapan. Ayoko yung tipong uh, sobrang seryoso, kailangan gawa, gawa, gawa. Siyempre, I want to have fun as well. And also, my training as an altar server for seven years po, uh, and a mentor for performing for the theater group. Isa po ako sa mga nagtuturo rin ng uh, basic theater chenis. Uh, I am trained to be very disciplined and handle situations accordingly. Tuloy ka po po ba, sir, sa S3 or skip ka po ba sa weakness? Ah, yeah. uh, sige, okay yung S3 and S4 mo, sige. Okay. Uh, so creative and resourceful. With my love for arts, uh, syempre, creative rin akong tao when it comes to video projects, spoken words, uh, essays, etc. So ini-imbue ko ang aking pagka-creativity sa aking mga works. Uh, especially sa mga essays and storytelling. Imagination is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is limited. Imagination encircles the world, as Albert Einstein once said. And for S4, note taker. Para sa mga kilala na ako, ako po ay mahilig magsulat, and therefore, kapag discussion, masipag rin po ako mag-take down ng notes. Yung problema ko lang, may mga ibang teachers na masyadong mabilis mag-next ng slide. <laughs> Pero siyempre, in... <laughs> konti lang sir, minsan lang. <laughs> well, may time constraints. Pero I give you the ano naman. Uh, Kaya nga po, thank you for that. And siyempre, kapag may meeting green po kami, whether sa altar servers or sa theater group ko, Ako yung madalas na nagte-take down notes and nagsasummarize kung saan tungkol yung meetings namin. Okay, moving on. S5, great communication skills. Uh, with my training as an as a theater actor, I am of course confident with myself and enthusiastic when presenting group works. Uh, I am also very honest most of the time. Medyo nahirap mo rin ako magsinungaling. But I try my absolute best to be honest whenever I can. And also, I can communicate and interact with others rather well. Moving on to the weakness. Hey. So, weakness one, emotionally driven. For me, this is my greatest weakness because as also my greatest strength then, because uh, I have yet to learn to absorb, uh, not to absorb uh, negative emotion of others and manage my own negative emotions. And emotions drive my every action and decision. Kaya ngayon, nahihirapan rin ako kapag nawawalan ako ng gana. Minsan, tinatamad talaga ako for weeks at a time. Pinipwersa ko lang sarili ko na gumawa at kumilos. 
And kapag may nangyari na emotionally scarring sa akin, it takes, of course, a long time to recover and therefore naapektuhin rin ang aking mga outputs. I think that's part of being an aspiring actor, no? Artistic yes. yung emotion. Very po. Uh, so, next, second, W2. W2, self-isolating. Although I want uh, to connect with others uh, and that... Uh, I am also a very active person. Mas prefer kong mag-isa. Kumilos na mag-isa at mag-isa lang in general. Kasi, lalo na kapag gabi, kasi I am in love with the stars and the moon. Hence why I am a Salina file. I tend to work alone because uh, nahihiya talaga ako mag-ask ng help. Gusto ko ako lang. Kasi there is uh, a part, there is a time in my life na nag Di, di na ako pwede mag-rely sa aking mga kagrupo and uh, I took it upon myself na ako na lang kikilos. I can only trust myself but yeah. I am slowly breaking down that wall na. Ayan, yeah, may nagpaparinig din. Ha? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, opportunities. Okay. Ano yung Seleno file para doon sa hindi nakakala, Mis, uh, Mr. Anapo? Uh, Selena Fine is basically being in love with the moon or very attracted to the moon pop. Oh, nice. Huh? Kakala so, ko si Selena Gomez. Huh? So, opportunities. Uh, so, O1 and O2. So, opportunities. Uh, Siyempre, in this generation, marami na tayong opportunities, especially for artistic persons like me. So, of course, first opportunity is social media. It provides us an outlet to to let the world see our talents and skills now, like TikTok, Facebook, uh, Twitter, YouTube, etc. Marami pa pong mga platforms kung saan pwede mong ipakita kung saan ka magaling, kung ano yung mga talento mo. Yes. And there are also plenty of tutorials to learn from, pero I suggest you stick to the physical uh, physical lessons kasi medyo nakakalito rin sa sa YouTube mag-aral ng mga iba, ng kung ano-ano. So, O2, well-known institutions. The three universities I have chosen are, of course, all well-known throughout the country. And it also provides me a better opportunity to be employed. And of course, I can also ensure that I have a great education. Okay. Tignan ko na lang yung threat para makausad tayo. I want to see the threats. Though correction din sa social media, no? Uh, like me, I post my pictures through Instagram or my points by uh, Facebook. Threads, okay, competitive industry, emotionally driven. Uh, I think that emotionally driven is not supposed to be part of threads, but rather it's either a strength or a weakness. Mm, okay, okay. So, next. Pero correct yung competitive. I want to see you, uh, lack of a backbone. Again, that might be more of a weakness. Backbone ng, ano, backbone ng industry or backbone mismo ikaw? Ay, backbone ko po mismo, sir. I see it as a threat po for myself and not only as a weakness po kasi. So more of a weakness, I guess. Siguro yung threats is yung, uh, yung yun yan, nabanggit mo yung competition, qualifications or standards can you adhere to the standards and okay difficult entrance exam pwede and last the t5 i want to see the t5 yeah correct huh? this is one of the biggest threats ever uncertainty and doubt siguro nakalimutan mo yung threat na yung natural disasters let's say bumaha no? ano bang pwede mangyari sa bahay niyo so not just you but also your family and the community around. So excellent okay. report, Mr. Anabo. 